The state has deployed four mobile vaccine buses to reach people in rural areas. Today, some of them stopped in Eaton, north of Greeley. More vaccines means relaxing some air travel restrictions for those fully vaccinated. Sean Chitton is working that story for us. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas joins us live in Weld County, where that vaccination bus making some stops. And Dylan, this can make it so much easier for people to get their COVID vaccine. Yeah, today some of those who got their vaccine said this saved them hours of their day because normally rural Coloradans would have to drive into major cities in order to get their vaccines. Thanks to the first of four mobile buses that will be taking those clinics around. Some here in Weld County said they took one more step toward normalcy. It's kind of surreal. In the remote town of Eaton. Today, got my COVID-19 vaccine. Javier Guijosa was one of many who was able to get his first and only dose of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine, thanks to the state's new mobile vaccine clinics. Filled out a paperwork, and within a minute or two, I felt a pinch and was able to walk off the bus. The whole process took maybe no more than 10 minutes, one time and done. This is the first of four buses that will be deployed to underserved communities around the state. Governor Polis said this is all about vaccine equity. We just want to make sure it's convenient as possible, especially to medically underserved communities and people that might not have a home hospital or home pharmacy. Something Gijosa said is a real problem. Just not as convenient as to, you know, having to drive a half hour to wait a half hour, an hour in line just to get a vaccine and then having to drive another half hour back home. It's definitely a lot more convenient in a community like this. In just two weeks, those vaccinated Friday will be protected. You're safely vaccinated and then you can uh, resume your more or less your normal life without having to worry about this deadly virus. Something Gijosa said is a blessing. It's crazy to see how, how, how we can come together and just figure out a solution to try to get things back to normal, hopefully. Now, Governor Polis said this won't be just something that happens in rural Colorado. Those buses will actually make their way to underserved communities in urban areas as well. Right now, the state is receiving between 400 and 500,000 vaccines every single week. At this pace, Governor Polis says everyone who wants a vaccine could have it by mid-May. Reporting live in Weld County, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. All right, Dylan, thank you.